All right, filming something late at night, but I need to show you this. This is a preview video of this machine, which I am going to make a video about in a few weeks. But this is the uh, Gen E or simple one if you wanted to do a Mandarin translation. And this is basically the Chinese streetman. What do I mean by that? So this is a manual lever machine and it is PID controlled and it is an open boiler and it has a 58 millimeter E61 uh, shower screen and uh, it is amazing. Now let me bring you guys a little bit closer in here and you know it might not be the prettiest machine but quality of coffee of this thing is absolutely amazing but let's take a look let's let's bring you in a little closer and of course we're gonna pull a shot and, and whatnot but if you can see here and I'm gonna get behind the camera if you can see here this is a lever machine here there is a box now I'm gonna plug this guy in and you're gonna to start to notice some things a lot of really cool things here actually so I plug this in here nice little light here and I brought out a little picture here to show you guys something I've been kind of messing around with this but this is a direct manual lever or a manual espresso machine and the thing is is that it has a PID here so I can set this to whatever temperature I want and it is going to set the water that I have in the chamber here to be whatever the heck I want and this goes from 14 Celsius all the way up to 97 Celsius so you can brew anything pretty much with this thing uh, I did have it on a little bit so it is a little bit warm here you're probably thinking about a lot of comparisons between this machine and maybe this machine down here that I have here. So this is the Flare 58. There are a lot of comparisons to be made uh, between the two machines, but I'm not really going to go into that right now. Uh, but the biggest difference, obviously, um, between the Flare 58 and this machine is the fact that you can set the temperature of this to whatever the heck you want it to be, down to the degrees. So you can go all the way up to whatever the heck you want. Um, and, and that's something that you cannot do with a lot of other machines. This chamber up here holds about 100 grams of water. So you can pour in 100 grams of water, you can do those big yield shots. And as you see, if I add in water here, this uh, temperature sensor should be dropping because this was on for a little bit. But there's a temperature sensor, that's what this guy is. And the temperature is now dropping. Room temp in this room is like, what, around 20 Celsius. No water comes out of here uh, until you lift the lever up. So that means that when I lift the lever up, this 100 grams, 100 grams of water is gonna come out. What's cool with this machine, which I hope you can see on camera, is the fact that there's an E61 uh, shower screen. It's, it's actually an IMS screen, and the machine actually comes uh, stock with an IMS basket. I can have full control over how fast the water goes through. I mean, it is gravity, but as you can see here, the water flow is very even, which is awesome. And I'm gonna pull this all the way up, so you can see here that there is a plunger here and yeah like <laughs> there's a lot of great things here now of course this doesn't have a drip tray at all it's just a uh it's just straight up you know block of wood on the bottom here and i just been i've just been using my uh, akaya pearl there once you start heating up the machine all this metal stuff becomes nice and warm uh and to heat up a hundred grams of water to about 90 celsius starting from 20 celsius it's been about takes me about 10 to 11 minutes which makes sense 100 grams of water is way more than you'll ever need to be for for most folks unless you're doing something weird once the metal is warm in here repeatability second shot third fourth shot whatever easy and you don't have to preheat at all of course you can start with hot boiling water you can pour it in here but you can start with cold water and it does a fine job. And that is so simple. It's gonna basically fill up the entire chamber. We're kind of cheating a little because this machine was on a little bit earlier, but my camera crashed. Uh, so I'm just gonna pour in 100 grams of water. I'm not gonna pull, maybe I'll pull a shot. I already did pull a shot earlier, so you might actually just see that footage. But uh, as you can see there, 100 grams of water uh, has dropped all of this temperature down to what 27 Celsius um, 
And once I turn it on, it's going to take about 10-ish minutes for all of this to heat up. And this will allow you to cover pretty much the full range of whatever the heck you need to pull. Like, you, you can pull light roast at 94 Celsius and you'll be fine. It All these metal pieces, by the way, this chamber, will, will get nice and warm. And it's temperature stable, which is, I'm like, oh my, that's crazy. Uh, and it's the first time that we're able to actually see in this type of form, from my knowledge or whatever I've used to... Um, in the past where you're able to actually see your temperature down to the uh, 0.1 degree, even though this is Celsius. I'm getting absolutely amazing shots out of this. I'm not gonna drink anything right now because it's like 1, 1.30 a.m. right now. Um, but stock, uh, by the way, you get an IMS basket. I'm not a fan of these, like the, the slopey IMS baskets. Uh, so I just stuck a decent basket in here. But this is an E61, uh, of course. Um, and I'm using this like really old black and white coffee, so I'm grinding probably way finer than I need to to compensate for that. And also this is just old coffee. So the shot of espresso I'm gonna pull is probably not gonna be very pretty. You know, whatever. I'm trying to demonstrate here. I was thinking about using Amazon beans to demonstrate that yes, you can indeed uh, build high pressure with this and build enough pressure. Uh, and you can execute all of the profiles that you want to execute with this thing. Um, because this is a pressure profiling lever machine. By the way, I need to shout out my man, Chen Chen, for sending this to me. Chen Chen the legend. I'll talk about in the full video how the heck he got one of these and how, what it, what it you know, how do you even get one of these things? Chen Chen also owns a decent, and in his experience and in my experience of using this machine, we are getting shots that are on par, if not better, and I want to say better because it depends on what type of espresso you're into uh, compared to the Decent. The biggest complaint people have about the Decent is like, they're like, oh, it doesn't have the thick body that I'm used to. Um, and the reason why, and this is like a little nerd stuff here, and maybe I'll make a video about that, is headspace. So the Decent has a lot of headspace. In a lot of these old traditional lever machines, there's not actually a lot of headspace. And there's some weird magic that goes on there. And basically what happens is you get thicker body or more, or, or the feeling of more texture in those shots compounded with the fact that you're pulling a lever. So what people do when they buy the decent, or if you really want to get into the nerdiness, nerd side of the decent stuff already, right, is um, people will stick a spacer in there uh, to reduce the group head space. The group head space in this, I have not measured it, but it is way less than the decent. So what we're getting is we're getting those nice, thick, triple C, quadruple C, thick espresso shots. This is a lever machine, so and we can do the exact same profiles that we can on the decent, and we're getting thicker, uh, thicker body in those shots. And it makes sense because you're, you're getting a temperature stable machine. You can have full control over how fast you introduce the water in, like it's all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm also gonna make a video about this guy here, but this is the Happy Camper. Watch this. I can tamp with my thumb. Magical. Okay, I'm gonna stick a Flare 58 screen on here. Uh, total record time. I guess my camera kind of had to stop recording in the middle. Uh, probably around 10-ish minutes now. I've cut ahead, but I'll let you know that this thing takes about 10 minutes to heat up 100 grams of, of water. Uh, all this metal, by the way, is getting warm. We're already at about 80 Celsius. As you can kind of see here on the base of the machine, the everything is wood. So I MS everything. This is all wood. And uh, there is no drip tray. You get a little pan <laughs> instead. Uh, although I just keep a uh, Pearl, that's a Pearl 2021 as my scale and that acts as my drip tray. I can get it wet, whatever, right? I don't really care. Um, and really, because we're at, we've added so much water, we're just going to swap cups. Uh, by the way, look at that. So 87 Celsius. And if you can see that water, I've definitely filled it up a little too much and I've kind of shaked this, ta shaken this table a little bit. Um, but as you can see there, that water is starting to bubble. 89.3 definitely the ending part for the this limit is a little bit slower um, but that's all right no guarantees on this being anywhere near dialed in or anywhere pretty so we're basically at 90 celsius 89.7 celsius and 
Uh, let me set this thing to that mode, the regular mode. Make sure all of this is here. It's late at night. Uh, things might move around, whatever, but we're at 90 Celsius. And this is stable. Like, I... <laughs> this is very interesting. Um, so please leave any comments and whatever if you have about uh, questions about this. But anyway, the instant I lift this lever up, the water will go into the puck. I can totally manipulate how fast I lift the lever up to change the flow rate of water. And, you know, this is gravity here. There's no um, there's no boiler pushing that water in. So I don't know what the actual flow rate it is or how you would even measure that. Um, but anyway, the point here is that we can actually do some amount of profiling or full profiling and we have a pressure gauge to actually map things. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot stick a smart espresso profiler on this thing because of the thread pitch, but maybe you can do some adapters. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, when I lift this lever up, the water is now going in there. It's now saturating the puck. And I think I'll just do a very gentle pre-infusion here. Um, I have tightened up my ground, grinds, ground, grind setting a lot. And now I'm just gonna push down. So I'm building pressure. And this is an old coffee, so it might not be super pretty. And it's also a little awkward for me because I'm trying to not block the camera. So I'm actually at eight bars. And I'm now just kind of in that flat eight bar area. You notice the temperature has actually dropped a little, which makes sense. And now I'm just gonna let off of this. And I'm just going to swap cups in. So this was what, 35 grams. And uh, we still have plenty of yield left here, plenty of water. So if we wanted to push more water through and get our nice dry puck, we can indeed do that. But this is old coffee. Yeah, you know, there there is that creme and texture. It is old coffee, so it's not as pretty, but um, there is full profiling here and even in this old black and white, which I am not going to drink this right now because it's like 140 now. Um, this old black and white I pulled has been tasting all right. If I wanted to do a second shot here, you'll notice that that temperature is 74-ish Celsius. Uh, when you add in your cold room temperature water, that will be around 40 Celsius. So the second shot is going to be really fast. All of this metal stuff is, is also going to be uh, pretty hot as well. But yeah, that is, that is the... Chinese treatment. I, I honestly think this is super interesting. Like you, you guys have to realize that this thing is, by the way, ballpark range, this thing's about 500 bucks. Um, though it is a little bit difficult to get, which I might talk about in the full video, but I really wanted to just preview this thing because it is super unique in my opinion. Um, and uh, by the way, you probably, I, I turned this off when I'm done pulling a shot cause I don't want to have any um, residual stuff or I don't want this to be empty and it heating up. The pops you may be hearing uh, that aren't like that aren't like water pops are all uh, I think the metal contracting inside there or contracting and expanding. Um, but yeah, you can just like you know literally force the water through here if you wanted to. Um, but there is definitely some residual pressure in here. Honestly, this espresso is like not looking that bad. Um, concerning it's super old. I think this is really, really cool. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And please leave any more comments about this guy, the Cremina and the Mathematic. All right, anyway, I'll see you around. Late video, quick video, or maybe not super quick video, but late video, off the cuff. This is super cool. Preview, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you around.